Hi, I've got something cool to show you today with Cricut Craft Room. You've all done this before with uh, Cricut Design Studio, maybe Cricut Craft Room, where you have a template that you you have in print or on a PDF or a JPEG. You want to make it into a Cricut template. So you have to measure and layer shapes out and cut it and try it and measure it and it can be done and a lot of people have done great things but it's really a hassle wouldn't it be nice if you could lay the template on your screen and trace over it well I'm going to show you just how to do that so here I have a template for a heart-shaped box that I downloaded from the Martha Stewart site and I'm going to bring it onto my screen and here I have Cricut Craft Room opened up on my Macintosh. Now I have downloaded some special software to my Mac called a float that is going to let me do something really cool here and that is to make this window transparent. So with this window on top I can move my slider and you'll see that the screen you'll see that the window is getting more and more translucent and I'm going to adjust it until I can see that template this template is a, drawn in a light color so I have to go down pretty far but there now I can see that underneath it and I'll leave it at that now there is similar software available for the PC that will let you make your windows transparent and that will allow this to happen. Okay, so now I'm still in Cricut Craft Room, but I can see my Martha Stewart template, which is on the bottom. So I need a heart, and I've searched through all the hearts in Cricut Craft Room with the search function, and there doesn't appear to be a geometric heart that's made of a square and two circles which is closest to what this heart is. All the hearts are a little bit stylized and they don't work well for this template. So I made a heart with two, semi, two circles welded to a square and then I turned it 45 degrees. I can take this and move it, size it, and begin overlaying it with my template. So I've already been working with this one, you get the idea. Then I can come over here to my overlay that I already have set to George and Basic Shapes Shift and get, uh, let's see, I need a skinny rectangle. I want to put that on the same layer. and then I can start working with these so on and so forth. Bring them over, rotate them. Anyway, you get the idea. I can make this template with this in place and use weld whatever until I've got got this how I want it. Okay, so that's how you would do it with a template. But there's a lot more that you can do with this than templates. Let's say you wanted to do a photograph. I have here a house. I brought it up in a preview application which is actually called Preview on the Macintosh. There's something similar on a Windows machine. Bring Cricut Craft Room to the front. I don't need quite as much transparency for this one. So I can run this up to about 50%. Then I can start just with some rectangles I 
I can start going in and making my design. Anyway, you get the idea. Because you've got this on your screen, you can easily see where your items need to go, how big they need to be, how they are in relation to each other. So I'll add a triangle to that. Wish that, bring it over here. Anyway, you could keep on going and refining this until you had a, a, the whole house built. Way easier than trying to measure uh, or lay uh, acetate over your screen, any of those methods that we used before. So I hope you find this helpful was very excited to learn this and I'll have all the details on my blog at least for Cricut Design Studio if not Cricut Craft Room right away. So thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this. Bye-bye.